Hey, everybody. Hi, Tammy. So I moved this chat to nine o'clock from eight o'clock because I was over doing a sale with Simon. Hi, Simon. And um, we are just getting together to chit chat about basically anything you want to chit chat about. Um, but the main purpose is to talk about Teak Stock if you have any questions. So um, that's what I'm here for. And we'll see if we get some people that are that would like to come in. So, um, Eric, are you here yet? Now, where did I put my book? I had some. I had some. Uh, I had my book here, and I, I I left it. Let me go see if it's in the other room. You hang tight. It's my scheduling book. Okay. All right. So, um, I just thought we'd get together and talk about it. And people that have been there might be able to, you know, um, throw in some words of wisdom. I see Dawn's here and Pauline's here and John's here. So, Tea Stuck is, is a little over a month away. We're very excited. Um, if anybody has any questions about it, I can kind of give you an overhaul look of it. Now, Laura, hi, Laura. Laura is coming for the first time. She's coming from Virginia and she's staying at an Airbnb. So, um, yeah, I, I want to tell you guys first and foremost about the hotel situation. Hi, Laura. Um, there is a huge car show going on in Coldwater, which is the town south of us the same weekend. And I'm talking, there's 1200 cars that they um, have this car show for at the fairgrounds. So um, if you are coming by, uh, if you're coming and you want to stay in a motel, I would suggest Marshall. Now I tried to call the Hampton in the holiday to get special rates and their rates for me were higher than Expedia. So that's why I didn't I didn't put out any flyers or anything for that. You're going to be better off just to um, just to get your room on Expedia. And and I saw that it was like one hundred and five dollars. Of course, that was when I looked a couple weeks ago. And this is going to be you know more in the springtime, so it might be a little higher. But um, yes, go just go to Expedia. The Hampton Inn allows for pets, and I I. Don't remember if there was a charge for pets. The Holiday Inn is okay. Um, uh, they don't, I, I don't, I think their charge for pets was just really way out. It wasn't even worth it. The Hampton, if you have pets, and I, I like the Hampton really better than I like the Holiday Inn, but yeah, just go to Expedia. I, I didn't even call them back when I saw Expedia. I said, well, I just said, well, you just, you can just get it yourself because, uh, for me to block it off. They were trying to give me a rate of like $150. And I'm like, I'm going to just go to Expedia. So I would really suggest Marshall because I, I think cold water is going to be just uh, filled up completely. Does anybody have any questions? Laura says she wishes she could bring her 71 Chevelle. Oh, it's just really great. Okay. Urban's in the house. So um, I want to talk about the trailers. So we have Larry's RV, which is charging a flat fee um, for the small the 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 trailers. It's it's like five hundred dollars flat fee. However, I talked to this gal in Sturgis, and um, Sturgis is if you look on the map, Sturgis is a little bit southwest from us, about forty minutes. And this gal um, has a really good reputation. Campers World recommended me to her. She's on, she's on uh, Marketplace. So she has waived for us all the cleaning fees. The units are nice and clean. They're big enough that you can bunk up with somebody and split the cost if you want. Um, 
or if you want to pick it up on the way, um, there's another rate for that. So if you want to just get one for Friday, and they're, they're basically $100 a night. And if you want to get one for, well, it's $100 a night. But the delivery fee to get to our place to for, for them to set it up is $145. So if you're coming through, I, Laura, I do have someone interested. Geneva. Geneva, are you in the house tonight? I think we've got it rented, Laura, for you. Um, if you wanted to pick up a trailer on your way in, then you would have it for $100 a day. And that's a pretty good deal, especially if you buddy up with somebody and you want to split the cost. That is great. Um, so if you want them to, to bring it out to the farm, it's going to be $100 a day plus $145 pickup fee. And there's a chance John and I could go get a couple of them. So there you go. Um, I'm getting one for Eileen. So we may end up bringing one back and, and not having the, uh, the mileage fee. So just let me know if you're interested in that. Um, because they're, they're, they're available. You can go to, um, what is an, um, if you want to look at them, hi, Fran. If you want to look at the campers, you go to RV Reynolds and Sturgis. Um, I just, just email me and I'll send you pictures so you can look at the units that are available. They have uh, three fifth wheels and three pull trailers. So you're going to have to let me know really quick. Um, but anyway, that's that. So um, does anybody else have any questions? I think I saw one. Hi, Fran. Fran came last year, didn't you, Fran? And you set up for only one day. And I want you to know that that's okay. If you want to come and just set up for one day, that's fine. But let please let me know because like last year, we put Fran right under the tent Um that was right by the back door and it was right next to George and she came in and just emptied her trunk on Sunday and that's totally fine. Just so I know, um, you know, that you're coming. Okay. Somebody asked way up top. Let's see. Kathy G, can we set up Thursday? I'm trying to decide when to avoid Chicago. Um, you can, you can come Thursday if you want to, as far as setting up a booth, that should be fine. There's going to be enough people around Thursday. Um, that's when all the trailers are going to be. That's when all the trailers are going to come in. The outhouse is going to come in. So, uh, yeah, that's fine, Kathy. Um, I'm trying to decide when to avoid Chicago. Hmm. If you're adventurous, take the Badger across Lake Michigan. Um, and there's also one in um, Ludington, I think. That's the quicker one. And I highly, I highly suggest that it's a blast. Um, and it cuts, it cuts a lot of mileage off the trip and it makes it so much better. You don't have to go through Chicago. Okay. Um, are you having food trucks? Yes. Barnyard Concessions is going to be here. They were with us last year in the summer and they're going to be here for sure. Um, I think they're going to be here all three days, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Fran says, didn't know anything then. Need a tent, please. This time I will be there Saturday. Tell me what the schedule is. Okay. Um, it, okay. Let me write you down, Fran. There, we don't, I don't have any time schedules. Just be there early to set up to avoid everybody else coming in. <laughs> and I'll put you down for Saturday. You will be there Saturday. Okay. We'll just, we'll just put you right under the tent. And if you're local, our tent that we've been having the last year for, we cannot have that tent because um, it's being used. So if anybody local knows of um, a tent that we can rent or has a tent, um, we're going to have to either rent one or get a 10 by 20. So we'll have a tent, but we'll make sure, we'll make sure that you can do it. Okay. 
Okay, Larry's RV will deliver Thursday and return on Monday. Yep, and they they have waived um, security deposits. They're really good too. Be crazy. Do you set up your booth in front of your camper? Yep. Yep, we'll, we'll park you depending on how long you're staying in a place that you'll be able to just go out your door and put your, your booth up. Pauline, do you remember where my spot is? I had June and September. Let me see if I got you down, Pauline. You were just right under the tent, Pauline. Did you want it set up again? I didn't know. What time Saturday? We we just wing it, Fran. We're hippies. When we get up. <laughs> I would just set up so that you're set up by 10, you know, 9, 10 o'clock. The auction is at noon on Saturday. So we want to make sure that everybody has a chance to, um, you know, look over the booths and stuff before the auction starts at noon. So I'm going to put you down for Saturday a.m. under the tent, Fran. And Pauline wants under the tent. Pauline, are you going to do it Friday, Saturday, and Sunday? Yes. Okay. And you want under the tent too. Okay. Okay. So um, the one thing, if you are coming to visit, and we stress this all the time, is please bring your own chairs. And the reason we need you to bring your own chairs is we don't have many. For the auction, um, it's a very small auction house. It's in the back of my shop. And there literally are 30 chairs. And so if you want to attend the auction, if you bring your own chair, we might be able to squeeze a few more in-house, but I have a big overhead door and um, there's kind of like a cement, uh, it's, it's just a big, a big, like a driveway that goes into the second building and you can sit out there um, and you can hear me on the speaker as I'm auctioning things off and you really need a chair. And if you bring your own chair, you can walk around and visit with people because you're going to know everybody that's set up and you're going to want to talk. And it's just so much more convenient to have a chair. So bring your own chairs. Does anybody else have any questions? I can tell you if you're watching and you want to come visit, we are right off I-69. We're in the middle of the state, right near the bottom. We're 30 miles from Indiana. Um, we have a pretty good bunch of vendors and they're not vendors who are um who do do this all the time the vendors that come in are, are basically weeding out their china cabinets or um it's the first time they've set up maybe the second time they've set up it is a wonderful place to buy glass but it's not just glass uh george is going to be there the antique nomad he's going to be there from Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and his booth is going to be set up just like he would go to Springfield. Um, and he'll be going to Springfield after he leaves us. So um, there's all kinds of stuff to, to see and buy, and I think you'll enjoy it. Is there any other questions? Um, of course, Eileen, we'll, uh, we'll tell you a little bit about our guest. I don't want to miss anybody. Um, Eileen is my auction manager and she will be there camped and she'll also have a booth and so excited to see Eileen. I think Serena's coming. Um, Laura's coming. Everybody's coming. Yeah, boy, we got a lot in the house. Urban, do you have any other questions for me? How do people pay? Uh, pay for what? The the trailers? Oh, Sylvia, I'm glad you're here because I was gonna I was gonna tell you we were going on. Uh, sounds like a bigger crowd this time. You may need an extra porta potty or two. We have the one, um, and it it it's gonna get it's gonna get uh, pumped out as as soon as we want it to. They're they're just around the block from us. What are we talking about? How do, your Jim, 
what payment methods you're talking about for the campers jim or for the auction and sylvia are you talking about the trailers too we will be up saturday and would like to set up by pauline again okay i was wondering um bill if you wanted to set up okay so you want to be under the tent too now we're getting pretty crowded under the tent so um, if you have a tent, bring it. If you don't, um, we'll try to get you under there, but it's going to be, and you're coming up for one day. We usually, we basically use the tent for people that are just coming for the day. Um, okay. Does the public come Friday or Saturday? We advertise for all three days. Um, and I, you'd have to ask some of the people. I was so, this, this time last year when we did it, I was so nervous. I don't even know what was going on. Um, it was so hot, but I, there was, there seemed to be a lot of people there Friday. Um, Saturday, there was another bunch of people because we, we advertise on a state sales.net and auctions it for the auction. So that brought in some more people. And then Sunday we had George doing the appraisal fair and that brought in some other people. But we also, um, we bought a lot from each other and traded a lot from each other too. So there's, there was, there's always stuff to do. Okay. How do you pay? If you, if you want one of the campers, Sylvia, let me know, just let me know and I'll get you in touch with them. Just, just, uh, just email me and you can do that. And you have my email and I'll let you, I'll let you know. And, and like I said, if you can, if you can bunk with somebody or share it with somebody, these are really big units. Can we use Wi-Fi to make electric payments for goods or do we need cash? Um, the auction, you can pay with credit card. And um, most vendors are cash, but most of us have PayPal accounts too. So I suppose if you went to any of them, and said, can I PayPal you over the money? I'm sure they would say yes, because they're all, you know, they're all people that we bought for. They're all people um, in the Rosie community. So I'm sure that that's an option. Um, Laura is, Laura has a small pop-up tent. Okay. Um, let me write that down, Laura. I know where I can put you. Do I need to bring cash? If, okay, if you, and I, I guess I should say this if you are a first time vendor and you, you haven't done this before, you should bring a little cash. And I would say um, something sufficient would be 20 singles and just fit maybe $50 in cash with 20 singles and fives and tens. Um, and if you, if you are buying, yes, I, we, we do not have an ATM. Of course not. There is a small town that is three miles away. There is an ATM in that town, um, but there won't be any place to get cash right where we're at. Okay. But like I said, everybody that I can think of on my list has paid me with PayPal. So I know they have PayPal accounts. So, I mean, if you get strapped, just ask them, can I just PayPal you over the funds? And I'm sure that they will say yes. Learning from everyone is worth the price of the, oh, yes. It not only learning from everyone, just meeting everybody. And you're going to feel like if you haven't been here before, you're going to feel like, you know, every one of us, it's just, I can't explain it. Kathy, can you explain it? Because I can't. <laughs> so <clears throat> cash is king. There's Miss K. Miss K is coming to set up too. And Miss K will be our, um, she's, we're going to put her as close to the front of the building as we can get Miss K. She's going to be in charge of name tags. So when you come in, if you, if you drive in and you ask to see Miss K, they'll point you to Miss K and she will give you your name tag. Make sure you get a name tag so that we can recognize you when uh, you walk by us for sure. Um, but anyway, what I was saying, if you are a first time vendor, $50 in cash, make sure you have, um, you don't need a, a, a covering for your table, but it always looks nice to have a table covering. 
Um, what I would do too is bring some kind of a cover if you want to put over your table. For instance, if you want to go to the auction for an hour and you don't have anybody to watch your booth, um, maybe some clips to clip it down. Um, we all try to watch out for each other, but you never know. Maybe a, sh a quick shower would come through or something. So maybe, um, you know, something to cover it, to cover just the top of your table so that if we get a shower or something, you're all set there. Okay. Eileen, what else do I need to talk about? Oh, um, you know, George is coming. And for those of you who haven't had a chance to meet George, this is the perfect place to do it. He hangs with us all weekend. We sit around campfires together. We talk. Um, and uh, just it's a it's he told me it's the only place that he's ever had this kind of um, a situation where he doesn't leave. He's right there. He's he's there through the evening. We sit under the tent and talk at night. It, it's just a really good opportunity to meet George. And we have Mike coming in. Mike from Well Swung. Now, Mike is very into mid-century modern and he loves studio glass. <clears throat> he loves art glass. <clears throat> I was able to catch a couple of his videos and that's when I decided I had to invite him uh, to the sale. He's um, charismatic. He's very professional with his videos. I love them. They're interesting. And um, I think he's going to bring a lot to Teak Stock. I don't know if he's setting up, but I'm going to we're, we're going to bring him on the show here to talk about him coming. Um, hopefully he he'll be able to talk about um, maybe swung vases or something um, that has to do with mid-century modern. But he is going to be there all three days. And uh, I'm excited for that, too. I'm, I'm excited that you get to meet him. I think you'll like him. Um, let's see what Kathy says. Uh, Kathy says, it's the best. It's like hanging with friends, but you've never seen their face. It's like hanging with friends that, that you feel you've known forever. <laughs> it's awesome. It's awesome. Okay. Um, so let, let me kind of, I've got everybody that wants it set up, I think at this point. Um, if you are thinking of coming, please let me know if you are if you want to come camp. You're welcome. You do not have to set up. If you want to come and just camp, we are totally fine with that. We'll just put you in a different place than the people that are setting up. But just let me know so that I can write that down for you. Timmy and I are planning a book and paper show. Okay. Um, and that's what happens. Eileen is going to get together with Timmy and do... Um, an ephemera sale, that's fine. Okay. Oh my gosh, Fran, do you even need to ask? Of course we'll help you unload. I think Mike lives near Indianapolis. That's the one, one thing about Teak Stock. There's help everywhere. We're all there to help each other. Um, and I, I uh, there's nothing to worry about with that. The only thing I worry about is the weather. And that June show that we did last year, I thought it was too hot. It was really hot. I also wanted to have more time between the June, the spring show and the fall show. So if I did it in May, um, if you came in May, you want, might want to come back in September. So I wanted to leave a bigger span in between the two shows. Okay. Um, Rosie, what are the amenities available in the campers? If you rent a camper, you're going to need to bring your own bedding and your pillows and your towels. Um, I think you can purchase the towels and stuff. It's it's extra though. Um, I, if you email me, I will send you the Facebook link. I don't have it right now where you can see the pictures, but I can get it if you email me. Um, they're all going to have a battery. So it's not like I don't think we're going to need heaters and I don't think we're going to need air conditioners in May. It's primitive camping, but they all have batteries. And we have a lot of little small generators. I don't know, John, how many do we have? Three or four? If you need a, to recharge your battery, then um, we can definitely do that for you. They're going to be 
you know, the water tanks are going to be full. Everything's going to be full. You should have no trouble with the water if you want to take showers in them. Um, they're all going to be stacked up with water and the batteries fully charged um, to start us off for the weekend. <laughs> Is it heaven? No, it's Michigan. Yes. Um, the dates in September. Oh, my gosh. I haven't even thought about it. Um, let me look and see. It should be around the 9th and the 10th. Let me look real quick. This year, the September dates are going to be the 13th, 14th, and 15th. Okay. All right. We have five generators. Yep. So if if you need to be hooked up to a generator to charge your battery or something, that's okay. We can do that. But normally, if you don't leave the lights on, um, you should have enough to run your refrigerator and a few lights at night. And, um, you know, it. we're going to have a nice breeze. We're out in the country. Um, and I, I don't think it's, it's going to be as hot as June. I'm just hoping we don't have snow. <laughs> so Tammy says she wants to wish everyone a great time. I want everybody to know too, that if you are watching at home, we make every attempt that you, that we um, televise all the events. We try to go around and do a lot of shorts and do a lot of videos so that you can, you at home can see faces and names and um, meet everybody too. So uh, if you can't come, it's still going to be a fantastic weekend. There's going to be lots of opportunities to um, buy. We actually sell for some of our people that are set up. We sell for customers that come in. So we're going to have a lot of live sales during the week. Um, <clears throat> the auction will be televised. So you'll be able to see it. Also, um, I think, again, this this first auction, we will not have any internet presence except for absentee bidding. That may change in September. We may have online bidding in September. But I really don't want to if, if our crowd supports the auction because if you're going to come and drive, I want you to be able to go to the auction and not bid against internet bidders. So that's how it's going to be um, in May. There will be absentee bidding available before, but the absentee bidding will end like the day before the sale. So um, the pictures for the auctions will be posted probably in a week. My goal is to get them on um, a month before the auction. I didn't realize I was going to have my taxes to deal with too <laughs> when, I, when I scheduled it early. So I got a lot of paperwork to do, but I'm very close to getting that done. Oh, 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 and free and you'll be interested in this, I think, or anybody that loves George. He is going to auction. George has been practicing his bid calling and he is going to auction some pieces at Teakstack. I don't know how many, maybe four or five, maybe 10, but um, we're, he says he's been practicing and he's excited. So um, it's going to be worth it just to come see George be an auctioneer. <laughs> Serena is coming too. Um, just to let you know, if you're watching this on the Rewind, we have people coming from all over. If you are watching tonight and you're coming to Teakstock, can you please tell us where you're coming from in comments um, so that we can give people an idea? You have to see, I know, but you're coming, you're coming Saturday, so you'll get to see him, Fran. Get to see him auction. I, I told him, I told him in September, I said, George, why don't you try to call and just practice? I said, you you drive all the time. Why can't you just do the telephone pole thing while you're driving? Like 10, would you go 15? Would you go 20? Would you go 25? 25? Would you go 30? I said, that's how I learned. And he said, he's been practicing. <laughs> how many pieces do I have in the auction? Um, I'm going to have 200 pieces in the auction. I'm trying to split it between half Fenton, which is going to be more than, it's going to be more than half Fenton. I just, I have too many good pieces of Fenton. So it's going to be probably two thirds Fenton and the third left will be studio art, kitsch, 
and pottery. So that's kind of that's kind of what the split will be. George is going to have some pieces in there. Um, he'll probably have 10 pieces and Eileen will probably have a few pieces. So it might be closer to 220. Um, so yeah, I, I, it's big enough, so, but there's really nice pieces in it. You know, some people have five, 600 lots in an auction. I can't, I can't do that myself, <laughs> but I do have a backup auctioneer from White Star. My friend Brent Wilbur will be there clerking. And if I run across any problems with my voice, um, we will have a professional auctioneer in house. <laughs> You got to plan for these things. All right. You guys will be there. Linda, uh, Tammy, you will be, you will be at Teak Stock. Believe me, we'll bring it to you at home. Um, Sylvia. Okay. Sylvia. Sylvia. Let me know. Are you coming to set up too? Do you know? Are you going to set up or just camp? Because I don't have you written down as setting up that I see. Nope. Okay, Lansing, St. Paul, Indy, Wisconsin, West Virginia, Southwest Wisconsin. Here's another Wisconsin, Elkhart, Indiana, Washington State, South, look at them, Southwest Michigan, New Hampshire. Yay! We also have PJ. PJ is coming from North Carolina. Um, I'm trying to think. Uh, just Wisconsin with, uh, uh, Joanne meet Geneva, uh, uh, and, uh, Laura Whitcomb. Geneva is the gal I was talking to you about. I am coming to set up. I will call you. Okay. Let me put you down, Sylvia. If you want to call me. I am so super busy during the daytime. Nine times out of the uh, 10, if you call me during the day, I can't pick it up. But when you see that I'm not on at night, I am more than w willing to hop on the phone with you for a few minutes and answer any questions that you might have. Okay. All right. Anything else? <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. Oh, um, I, I, for, I told some people this already, but I don't think I told you guys, um, Friday night, Friday night, everybody, um, we, we set up, we like to go, um, someplace to eat and Friday night, our little town, which we only have 800 people, the Tecancha cafe, um, they are making a special for our Rosie members. It's homemade meatloaf. And I mean, oh, just great homemade meatloaf, a loaded mashed potato, and some kind of vegetable, and a rosy raspberry cream pie is on their menu for Friday night. And the Tecancha Cafe is only three miles. So um, they're excited that we're coming into town. And I, th I think you'll like it. It's just down home cooking. And we can run there Friday night after um, things slow down. And we'll just go get some some good old fashioned homemade cooking at the Takancha Cafe. Yep. And I got my own pie this year. <laughs> I did get a handicap porta potty. And it's Pauline's, it's Pauline's job. Wasn't it you, Pauline, that put the candles in the porta potty last year so that we could see it at night? It was either you or Polly. I can't remember who somebody did that. Are are there last year? Excellent. Yes. You ate there last year and it was excellent. Yes. Sounds yummy. Best kind of food. Yep. Okay, your job, Pauline, to bring the lighting for the for the outhouse so that we can find it at night. <laughs> I, I went in there. That was a joke last year at, um, was it the spring one or the fall one? They left the outhouse here for a month. <laughs> I, 
I finally went out to check on it and Pauline's lights were still blinking inside. <laughs> it was crazy. Okay. Anybody, if all our questions are answered, I know. Oh, and I got the same guy to do it this time too. <laughs> He's local. What can I say? Does anybody else have any questions before we take off? I will tell you, um, George will be in house. We're going to do a sale together and uh, maybe we'll have another question and answer where George comes in. Also, Mike is going to come in so that you can get to know him. Um, and he will talk about coming down. Um, and we're just going to have a good time. Eileen, will Daryl be there? I don't think there's any, she may, she may bring Daryl. I think she has, I think she has, I think Daryl is here for her. But um, as far as Daryl and the blankets, um, that's an inside joke. <laughs> I don't think we'll have any more Daryls. <laughs> okay. Name of the dealer in Sturgis. For the campers, I think, now don't rent them there before you talk to me, okay? Because I'm getting one for Eileen. And Eileen, you can go look at one and pick out the one you want. But I have to call it in so you can get the rate. So um, Eileen, you should go in and look and see which one you want. Um, hopefully just up. I'd rather get a pull camper for you. I think there's three of them. There's the information on Facebook. But I'd rather you 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 pick one out and call me and I'll call her and she'll send, she'll give you the information. Because there's only six. There's three fifth wheels and there's three pull trailers. And like I said, if you can if you can pull a trailer over, you're going to save that 145. But you can go in there and look. Now, if is the camper a hundred dollars? No, it's a hundred dollars a night plus the pullover fee. What was I going to say now? Um, I can't remember. Um, for three days with a big fifth wheel and if they pulled it over it's going to be 445 dollars and you see how big those fifth wheels are i mean you you can uh, bunk so yeah if, if seriously if you want it for two days and you want to go pick it up it's 200 dollars but um, for them to bring it over, it's quite a ways. So it, and she said the $145 to bring it over is cost. But through us, they're totally taking off the security deposit and the cleaning fee. So, so um, just let me know which one you want. I'll give them your information so they can contact you. And uh, I think that's the way it'll work. Okay. Miss K, if you're interested in one, you let us know. Okay. Last chance for questions. I'm a little bit tired. I had a long day today. Um, okay. Again, I want to tell you about other things that are going on in case you come to town and you want to do something else. The car show is a three-day event in Coldwater, Michigan. That is south of us, maybe 15 miles. Allen Antique Mall is also about the same distance. It's the largest antique mall in the state of Michigan. You will never see it all. It is so big. It's unbelievable. The town doesn't even have a light. That is that is not too far. Um, and Marshall has a number of museums in it that are all downtown you can walk to. So there's so many cool things to see if you want to spend more time in the area. All right. 
sent it to me. That link didn't work. Um, I'll send it to you, Eileen. I'm going to do it right now. Okay. Does anybody else want me to send them the link via PMs? I'll do it right now. Eileen, pick the one that is the biggest. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's a casino. Kathy, you went to the casino, didn't you? Fran, Coldwater's probably completely booked with that car show. Go to Marshall. If you don't have a pet, you might like the Holiday Inn. Hampton's nice, too. They allow you to bring your, your pets. Um, I tried to get rates, and I don't know why they did this, because I went right to Expedia and looked up the dates, and it was $40 cheaper than what they were going to charge me for a group rate. So I decided not to do it. Just call or go on Expedia and Hampton Inn, um, Holiday Inn, and there's a couple little other hotels in town, but those are the two that I know of for sure. Okay, Sylvia Lee, I'm, I will... Um, I will send you the link right now. Anybody else want information right now while I'm here? Okay, you got it, Sylvia. My time is yours tonight. So, yeah, I well, I'm like I'm not going to I'm not going to get a group rate when you can go through Expedia. We we were at the Hampton and you liked it? Okay. Cat, uh, she says, come on out. We'll hit the slots. Yeah, we have a casino that's probably, it's probably 15 miles. It's, it's really close to the fire. It's called the Firekeepers Casino. Okay. I guess I'm going to, I'm guess I'm going to take off. So let me look real quick and see if there's anything else. I don't think so. We are still trying to work on promoting um, locally. And um, I am going to be doing more of that this year than I did last year so we can get some more local people in. And I can't think of anything else. Oh, my gosh. Kathy's right. Why didn't I think of that? I have never thought of that. There are hotels at the casino. I have no I, I have no idea about the rates there. What are the hours? You guys are trying to tie me down. We are hippies. We get around when we get around. <laughs> That's what George says last year. He says, what are the hours? And I says, what do you get up, George? Um, a lot of us will be there Thursday and we'll start setting up for Friday. And I would say Friday, 10 o'clock, we're there all weekend. So when we get tired, we throw a sheet over the table and we go eat. <laughs> the next day we get up and it's the same thing. <laughs> you just have to go with it. We're all a bunch of old hippies. We do, we do what we want to do. Okay, guys, I will talk to you later. We'll have another discussion about this um, in a couple weeks. And feel free to contact me with any questions you might have, okay? You guys, I will. I've had three three, three lives today. I'm a bit tired. So um, we will. There's Russell. There's Russell. Russell's our man that brings everything. He brings a trailer so full of stuff he can't even move in it. You just. You cannot believe the stuff Russell will have. <laughs> all right. What we need to do is all pray for good weather. That's what we need to do. Okay. All right. We'll see you guys later. Remember, Eileen goes on in the morning at the 10 at 10. I'll be back for Fenton Friday um, in the morning. Have a great evening, and we'll talk to you very soon. Any questions, you just holler at me. Yeah, he needs a week to set up. <laughs> okay. Later, Gators.